I'm really happy about the amount of work I got done. Again, I don't get this much work done every day. <laughs> most of my Anki cards for today. It only took about 50 minutes and that may seem like a long time but I have a lot of cards and now for pretty much most subjects that I'm taking so I'm happy about that. Now I'm finally going to be able to grab some breakfast as I'm really hungry and then move on with the rest of my day. <music> for way too long I'm gonna start my first revision session it's about 11 o'clock I've done my first hour of Anki and now I think I'm gonna move on to some biology and physics using Seneca so yeah let's get straight into it so at this point I'm just doing biology Seneca and the revision I'm doing is what's gonna come up on the test as I'm recording this though I've done the test which I'm glad I did that amount of revision for as it wasn't too difficult so I felt pretty confident on it Watch me just absolutely fail the test now as I've just jinxed it. <laughs> and now it's time for some computer science. Let's go. If you're wondering what exam board I'm on for computer science, it's AQA. It's a bit annoying because there's not as much revision material for AQA as there is for something like OCR. So I had to do a lot of Seneca for this and just find some past papers and find the questions that will be on the topics that we need to revise on the past paper. So it's about 15 past one now and I've done three hours in the morning and I'm going to be taking my break. So obviously I did my Anki in the morning and now I've done my biology and computer science using Seneca. Um, I went a bit longer just because I just wanted to finish one of the units I was doing and not get back to it later. But I'm going to have some lunch, maybe film a video, do some like leisure activities or stuff I want to do and then get back to studying at about three or maybe two, just depending how I'm feeling. I don't feel too bad. I feel like, I wouldn't say like really stressed, but I'm not too tired. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad studying, if I'm honest. I'm excited to eat something because I'm very hungry. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go have some lunch then, I guess. The food I had for lunch today was some rice with stew, the stew my mum makes herself which is a pretty tedious process for her, however it tastes impeccable and you can put it on lots of different foods. some of my other videos you know that I love lots of different Nigerian foods right now I'm just getting ready to film a video here's some behind the scenes I guess we have all the coats and jacket removed from there and my whiteboard and stuff and some tripod tripod set up here I try to use the natural lighting because I don't quite have you know a proper light yet so it looks pretty nice <clears throat> Pop that on the tripod, and this is probably going to be the shot I will have when sitting down and talking. So I decided to go for a different angle this week. Usually I put my tripod here and then get the camera towards this angle. However, I wanted to use more of the natural lighting, like I said. This has a disadvantage because now I can't use my monitor. Usually I plug in my monitor with this USB-C to HDMI cable, which I use on my computer. I can plug that into my phone, see myself very easily on the monitor. 
However, now I know I'm in frame, usually I do a test shot before, like this, then I can go back and watch the video, see if I'm frame, and the autofocus on the camera is decent, and I just need to know to look right into the, into the lens, so that's not too bad. Anyway, let's start filming the video. So the video I'm filming right now is how many hours should you study? This video I'm filming right now is probably gonna go out after that video. So it doesn't really matter if I say what it is. Um, it's an interesting video, which I actually planned like two weeks ago, but I've just been really busy revising and stuff like that. However, now it's my lunch break. I enjoy filming, so I may as well film just before I start revising again. Me having a channel primarily focused on studying and productivity. A question I get asked a lot is, how many hours do you study? So I just finished filming the video, which I hope you guys enjoyed. I was really nervous. I always get really nervous filming videos. I don't even know why. I'm literally in my home on my own, but who cares? Now I'm going to go ahead and get out my SSD, which is here, and then transfer the footage from my camera onto the SSD, which I can then later edit in Final Cut Pro. However, now it's half two. I should probably get back to studying at three, so I'm just gonna do that and then take a little break, tidy my room up, tidy this mess up, and then get back to studying. Finally, just imported all the footage for the videos I wanna be filming. So you have the productive Saturday video footage, which is a fair amount. And this is only the afternoon. I still haven't filmed the rest of the video. And then you also have the how many hours you should study, which is just a couple clips. To start off doing maths, I did a frequency polygons worksheet that I printed out a couple days ago, and I really just wanted to finish that and make sure I was confident with it. We had done frequency polygons like last year, but I just needed a quick reminder if you do maths, you know what I mean. And after that, I moved on to some like basic trigonometries, you know, just doing angles and sides, which did come up in the test. So I'm glad I revised that and just reminded myself. Practice questions is the best way to revise a maths. There's no easy shortcut. You just need to be doing it every day. Practice questions and learning basically. <laughs> So I just finished going through a little simple trigonometry paper. Again, found a math genie. All the links of everything I say will be in the description if you want to check anything out. Now I'm going to move on to uh, trigonometric graphs using the GCC Math Tutor. He's like one of my favorite channels on YouTube for math. I love him so much. He's really good. Um, also, you can print out worksheets and follow along while he's doing stuff. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, I'm going to do this and then do that even harder worksheet when I'm done understanding this properly. I just need kind of a refresh. I've done this before. So yeah, let me go on with it. So we had been doing trigonometric graphs last year, like towards the end of last year. And it's not too hard once you know the rules. And if you want a tip, learn the like the sign rules with your, you know, the left hand rule. That really helps or just kind of memorize how the graph looks. And then you could figure it out quite easily. If you're allowed a calculator, obviously that makes things 10,000 times easier, but if not, you'll have to remember the rule. So yeah, after that, I printed off the Mass Genie worksheet, and on the Mass Genie worksheet, there was the trigonometric graphs and exponential graphs, which I don't know why they grouped it together. I wish it was kind of separate, but I ended up learning exponential graphs after that, which is, I guess, interesting. Always make sure to be organizing all your maths work so you can look back upon the questions you had done before to give yourself a quick refresher rather than having to print off sheets every single time. I'm not a big fan of doing maths notes. I just prefer looking at a video or doing it in class and then just getting home and doing practice questions or just follow along with the video and doing practice questions. So I have finished my maths for today. I just spent like, it's, it's 6.01. I just spent about three hours going through maths. I pretty much covered most of the points that the school said are gonna be on the exams that are harder, that most people get wrong, if you know what I mean. So not everything I've covered on the exam, but I've covered the stuff that the school say most people forget. So yeah, um, 
I put most of my stuff literally in my math folder just here. Like I said, I went through like a GCSE math tutor uh, video and he had a worksheet that you printed. So I started off with like the basic trigonometry stuff and I moved on to trigonometric graphs, which I did the video on. And then I did the trigonometric and exponential graphs from Maths Genie. So yeah, now um, I'm very hungry. So it's been six hours studying. I think I'm gonna do another hour um, or maybe two before I go to bed. However, for now, I'm going to eat a pizza. Um, yes, I like ketchup for my pizza. I know that's kind of weird, but yeah, who cares? So I'm just gonna watch a video while eating. Took a break at six and watched some YouTube videos. I ended up watching uh, Lengs, Anna Lengs, if you know her. She's also kind of a study productivity themed YouTuber. And she had just put out a really interesting video of her moving to university. And then after that, I ended up watching uh, a Will and E video. I don't know why, it was just interesting, but Will and E's a good YouTuber if you, if you watch that kind of stuff as well. So the evening is definitely one of the hardest parts of my day when it comes to studying. You know, I'd already been studying for many hours before that. Now I just had to give it one final push. To finish off the day, I decided to just do some Blood Brothers, something a bit chill to, you know, relax me before I went off. If you do AQA English, you know that poetry has been dropped from the spec, luckily after an uproar of English teachers. <laughs> And I'm quite happy about that because I really enjoy Blood Brothers. It's a super interesting book and I feel like it's one of the best on the English spec. It is about 10 past eight and I think I'm gonna finish up for the day. It's been a really productive day, to be honest. I woke up in the morning at a decent time. I actually thought I woke up a bit late thinking it was 9.30, but it was 8.30. So I was really happy about that. I did an hour worth of Anki, then I did two hours of computer science and biology. Then I came home, did like three hours worth of maths, did an hour worth of Blood Brothers work. And now I've just finished about half an hour or so of physics flashcards, which I'll continue doing tomorrow. I'm really happy about the amount of work I got done. Again, I don't get this much work done every day. However, I'm just trying to be really productive for the upcoming tests. You guys have also got kind of mocks or exams coming up. Let me know how you guys are revising for that, how you guys are doing. I hope you guys are staying motivated. And check out my other study with me if you want to get motivated. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos, including my video about my Notion planner, which I just talk about how I prepare for my day and make preparations to study. Don't forget to subscribe and have a productive week. Thank you.